MTD CNC, we have come to what I think is probably the motor city of Turkey. We've come to Bursa to Egrip Machine Tool, but there's a lot of automotive here, isn't there? Not just machine tool manufacture. Exactly. The main production is for automotive in my city. Absolutely. Now, Fatih here is the son of a 77-year-old business. It's Egrip Machina, if I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, perfect. And you guys have been making machine tools kind of on and off for a long time, but what do you do primarily? What's the history of Egrip Machina? Well, actually, uh, we are a family company founded by my grandfather, who was a foundry man since the uh, beginning of his professional life. And between 50s and 80s, he started... He made machines, actually, but for processing wood. And after 80s, my father and uncle continue, continued as a foundry for iron and steel. And today, still, we are producing medium and big-sized uh, cast iron parts, which is the base of our machine tool. Uh, initiative. Absolutely. And so you're a foundry first and foremost. That's why we exactly. see when we walk around, we see so many huge, I mean, there's a massive kind of Y axis here for a boring, for, for, yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, a machine you'll be building yeah, in the yeah, future. Yeah, and it's absolutely massive. The foundry we'll be going to look at. Um, but why do you think um, making cast parts here allows you to produce um, good machine tools? Well, we produce uh, old school, strong rigid, robust machines with very strong cast iron body structures and we have uh, patented uh, differentiations. We have internal cooling lines in our cast iron body parts, which is our special uh, specialty. We produce our machines, the upper gantries are our leading model now, Rowan, and the monoblock structure is uh, giving us the precision yeah. And the good cast parts allow you to make, I mean, these are big machines. Do you do, is there a kind of a limit on the x-axis on the size of the machines you can make? <laughs> Thanks to our uh, cast iron body design, the x-axis is modular. So we can extend ex as much as the customer's demand is. We have uh, 2.5 meters and 6 meters as standard in our stock, but as I said, x-axis is unlimited. Wow, that's incredible. And let's talk about the customers a little bit that you um, you export to. So you, you've got a lot of customers in Turkey and you export a little bit, but where, where are these machines found? What kind of sectors? Our focus is in automotive, uh, coming from the tradition of the city, I guess, and the company. Uh, but our uh, new focus is the aerospace industry. Aerospace industry uses these kind of upper gantry machines a lot for machining composites and also uh, highly valuable metals such as aluminum and titanium. Absolutely, and those high value materials exactly. are very important um, in making, making good components in, in, in tough environments like aerospace. Um, let's, let's now discuss a little bit about the machines themselves, how the operators use them, and when these machines are run in such critical production lines as aerospace and automotive, exactly. downtime is a big problem. Exactly. How do you try and make sure your customers have, have as little downtime as possible? Well, uh, very good point. Uh, you know, these machines run for long hours, with 24 hours a day, sometimes seven days a week. So the collisions are the biggest risk they might come up to. So we have to uh, offer a safety system to our customers so that we have our place in the competition. You know, there's a big competition in Europe in such machine tools. Uh, so we started our collaborations with Siemens at that point. Okay, and so Siemens helped you with a collision avoidance system, but I mean, th there's a lot of different ways to avoid collisions. What kind of different, what kind of different ways are there to, to yeah. try and avoid collisions when you're the machine builder? You can try everything. Exactly. Well, our technicians uh, think about a lot of, uh, search about a lot of alternatives. There are some impact sensors, many simulation systems, and even some shock absorbing systems are available, but <laughs> we observed that they do not uh, offer you a total safety, a guaranteed safety. You need something, something more, something real time and smart. Absolutely. And so, how did you come across the solution from Siemens? How did you find out about it? Well, we have very good contacts from the uh, beginning days. Uh, we use their controls. The cinematic technicians are, uh, I must say, very talented in Turkey, in their Turkish branch, let's say. Uh, they offered us the solution of the Protect My Machine 3D Twin 
application uh, combined with the uh, industrial edge for machine tools and we, we made progress our machines are ready with collisions avoidance system now I love it and we can see the digital twin happening right now exactly. on the screen and what I love is the fact that you can see on the screen, you imagine right now the, the, the machine behind us is beautiful, it's clean, it's empty, there's not much chips flying, but in a machine tool that's running 100 hours, the yeah. cycle is long, there'll be chips flying everywhere, there's coolant, the operators, obviously, they're, they're working hard, <laughs> they're distracted, they can't see anything, so you need to see what's happening on the screen in real time, and I guess that helps with a huge number of different operations for the operator. Yeah, exactly. But let's talk about the higher level benefits. I mean, what's happened to your customers as a result of using Protect My Machines? <laughs> well, our machines are valuable. You know, I love them very much. <laughs> but the work pieces that the customers are working with are really, really expensive. And Even more valuable yeah, than the machines, yeah, maybe? They have to be protected too. So a crash, a collusion, even a sl small marking on the surface that has been processed for many, many hours uh, can cause a company a big loss, a big stoppage, you know, a big repair cost. So this uh, avoidance system gives you the guarantee to stop them as much as you can. And it gives you a benefit so that you can try new things, new programs, new parts. You know, the adaptation of a new uh, project is difficult in uh, milling operations. By this real-time collision, your operators are much more safe to start and try things. Okay, so now you're using this collision avoidance system daily. How does it tie into the rest of the services that the customers can, can get from you, Greg Mackenna? Uh, we invested and planned our structure as an integrated machine tool producing factory, starting from the body parts production in our foundry, machining shop in-house, and complete design of the machine and production is here in this facility. Uh, also, I must not forget that we are constructing our new factory, which is just 40 kilometers away from here, in a 150,000 square meter area. So it will improve our production numbers. So after we prove ourselves in our internal market in Turkey, we will start our activity in Europe and in 2022, we founded our first branch office uh, in Germany, in North Germany. I think I can say we are close to UK. <laughs> Hopefully we will uh, improve there too. Absolutely. So uh, I must mention the five axis simultaneous milling machine is our own patented design, including the spindle. We have one type of spindle we would like to improve that area too. But depending on our customer demands, we use different head systems, different spindle head spindles too. Brilliant. So that's Igor Makina, that's castings made in-house, spindles made in-house, all the testing, design, development made here in Bursa, in Motor City, and also they're using Protect My Machines from Siemens, which makes sure that your operators can be confident in whatever they're doing on your machine tool.